Would you please welcome to the show conservative author and activist, Mrs. Phyllis Schlafly. Positively make women subject to the draft on an equal basis with the men. They've got to the point where they truly believe that men and women are the same. So it's not enough for them to have the right to work. They want to legislate away any differences between men and women, which will mean goodbye Girl Scouts and hello unisex bathrooms. <laughs> the ERA doesn't say that men and women are the same. It says that they're entitled to equal protection under the law. What, did you drag her out of the dustbins of the Goldwater campaign so you could hide under her skirt? She found me. You promised that you weren't going to fight us on this. I changed my mind. But we have enough votes to ratify. I want a public hearing before the vote. So suddenly you don't mind looking like you hate women. I don't hate women. I love women. Which is why I want to protect my female constituents from the dangers of the ERA. And you tell me that's liberation? Why, that isn't liberation. Liberation's in the home. I heard former Goldwater supporter, I thought, what a bore, but she's a dynamo. Not bad looking. It was a good show. You know, it'll make for a better show. Have her on with Gloria Steinem or Betty for Dan. <laughs> I don't think so. No, no, you get them together debating, a cat fight. It's ratings gold. You were terrific. Oh, thank you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a talk show host, so what do I know? But, uh,. Some of the arguments you made, I'm just wondering if you had a chance before you came on to fact check. Yes. So, for example, the elimination of separate restrooms, mm -hmm. that seems highly unlikely to happen if the ERA is adopted. Phil, let me ask you this. When Lenin started the revolution in 1917, do you think he told the people, fight with us and we'll give you food shortages, censorship and terror? Oh no, he promised them peace, land and bread. Now, it starts with a simple piece of legislation like the ERA, and then the left feels emboldened to eliminate alimony, child support, and the widow's social security. And before you know it, we are living in a feminist totalitarian nightmare. Thank you for having me on your show. 